Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mo. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. So today I'm sharing a collective Ulta haul and some miscellaneous products that I have that doesn't really have a home. So if you guys wanna see the stuff that I've been picking up recently, keep on watching. In this haul, it's gonna be mainly skincare and body care items because y'all, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's age or what, but my skin has been going through it recently. I've been seeing like texture and like the fine lines under my eyes and everything has just been all over the place recently. And to be honest, I really haven't been doing a very good job with keeping up with a skincare routine. So most of the products I have here today are like skincare and like body type items. And I do have a few makeup items here as well. But first, I'm gonna start with these two items that I picked up from the Soap and Glory line. I have the Clean On Me Hydrating Body Wash, and I remember using this Soap and Glory brand years ago, and I remember just loving how fresh and clean this body wash was. And honestly, guys, it took me so long to do this haul. I bought two of these and one is already done in my shower. And I've just been enjoying this body wash so much. The lather on it is just rich and luxe and it just makes your body feel super good and it doesn't dry your skin out in the shower. So I love that body wash. So another product from the Soap and Glory line I picked up is the Smoothie Star Breakfast Club. And this one is scented with almond and caramel. I haven't tried this scrub yet from Soap and Glory, but I just love the way this smells, honestly. Mm. And I can't tell, I don't believe I've ever tried any of their body scrubs, but I cannot wait to put this all over my skin because it literally smells like a meal. It smells like a snack. It looks like it's gonna be hydrated on the skin and I cannot wait to use it. So those are pretty much the only body items I have. So let's get into the skincare. I purchased this Keys Soul Care set and it comes, well, it came with a moisturizer with a little sample of the moisturizer, uh, the honey mask, the Be Luminous Exfoliator, and a cleanser. I, I've only used the moisturizer and I really liked it. It definitely gives a spa-like experience when I used that um, moisturizer. So I'm very excited to try the extra stuff and I really, literally, I have been waiting to do this haul so that I can try the other products in here. Now, what I love, like what sold me on the brand is just how luxe the packaging feels. I really can't tell if this is glass or hard plastic, but I really love how the products feel. They have a nice weight to it. And I also like the affirmations that she included on the back of the products. Y'all see that? So this one is the exfoliator and it says, I am layered, complex, and divine. I just felt like that was a cute touch to add to the skincare product because you know, when you're doing your skincare, it's supposed to be a time where you're taking time for yourself to do a little bit of self care, whether it's at the start of the day or at the end of the night. So I really appreciate the affirmations and the quotes they add to the, the packaging. And this one is the golden cleanser and it says, I am devoted to this moment. Isn't that so cute? This one is the mask, the Harmony mask. And I even like the names of the products as well. 
And on this one, it says, I walk in my own strength, period. Okay, that's cute. When I purchased that Keys Soul Care set, they had a little um, deal going on. You purchase it and you get all these extra things for free. They had a sales rep there. And so this is a free item. This is the Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. And... The affirmation on this one is give yourself permission to glow like what y'all don't have to tell me twice to give myself permission to glow because baby one thing I'm gonna do is <laughs> glow okay and I really don't know it's an illuminating serum but when I swatched this one in the store it had like some glitter in there so that's the only reason why I'm swatching this one so maybe you can Pick, it can pick up on camera but this one had like some shimmer flakes in there I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera or not but it's definitely soft and you see the glow but I feel like I remember it being like little shimmer flakes or a little flakes of shimmer in there on the dry down but I'm not seeing that right now so hmm. I don't know maybe I'm thinking about something else but it's definitely glowy like that's the hand with it and without definitely adds a nice glow to the skin so I'm excited to use this two other gift with purchase I got this notebook which is a gratitude journal let's see what it looks like and it has kind of like this leather look I don't know if it's real leather or not and it has a quote right there on the front it's very sleek and it says I am a masterpiece a beautiful work in progress and y'all y'all can't tell me that's not cute that's so cute. I also got a little headband and it says keys and it's so cute. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, some more skincare stuff. And these are from the brand Good Molecule. I purchased the niacinamide serum, the hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide brightening toner. The niacinamide serum is formulated with 10% niacinamide to refine skin texture and minimize pores. The hyaluronic acid is formulated to draw moisture into the skin for deeper hydration. Okay, we all like to have a good hydrated skin. And I guess let me just show you what the little bottles look like. So, here we have the niacinamide, the hyaluronic acid. Then I have the niacinamide brightening toner and this is formulated with niacinamide, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. See, this sounds right up my alley, girl, because these pores, I don't know what's going on. They just be doing the most lately. Then as a gift with purchase, I got the glycolic exfoliating toner. This one is formulated with glycolic acid and galactomyces ferment to gently remove dead skin cells and promote glowing skin. Have you guys tried anything from Good Molecules? Let me know because it sounds promising, but you never know with skincare. So let me know in the comments what your experience has been with the Good Molecules line. Let's move on with a few items, makeup items I picked up. I re-upped on my Fenty Beauty concealers. I got the shades 420 and 410. And I really like these concealers from Fenty Beauty. I know we don't really hear much about them anymore, but these are one of my favorite concealer formulas on the market. They have nice coverage, they don't crease under my eyes, and what I love to use them for 
specifically like under my eyes to brighten but I also love to use them to clean up under my brows because the wand on them makes it so easy to just whoop, you know just do a little swoop -a swoop and clean up your brows and the formula is very nice gel like so I wanted to repurchase this this is 420 that's the shade 420 and then 410 420 is the shade I've always used 410 is new to me 420 and then 410 410 is the lighter one and they're pretty similar so I'm just excited to you know start using these concealers again I picked up two MAC lipsticks OG like y'all remember when MAC had the girls in a chokehold I still love my MAC lipsticks I don't know about you but I felt like I had to take it back to basics and this is Yash which is just like the prettiest nudie pink pair this with a brown lip liner and a clear gloss and girl you just got that that lip combo is just amazing and then I also picked up honey love which is very similar why did I pick two of these up I don't know because these are these are damn near the same shades <laughs> ash here and honey love here I picked up two lip glosses from the Juvia's place coffee shop collection I got the shades Dulce Latte and chocolate chip Dulce Latte or Dulce Dulce Latte Dulce 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 Latte it's just a nudie light super milky nude I love these milky type of shades again with a brown lip liner so pretty with a brown lip liner I've already used that one and these lip glosses are very soft on the lips they got the color the pigment is there but they're very smooth and silky on the lips like oh just beautiful and then the brown one is chocolate chip y'all don't sleep on these lip glosses they are so nice smooth on the lips one con I will say is since they're so thin on the lips they don't last very long so you have to keep reapplying them but ah oh, so cute especially the dulce latte mm, mwah, love the last thing i have from this haul is a blush from benefit i have the shade starla and <laughs> i don't know what made me want to pick this blush up it looks pretty but i don't know how it's going to translate on my skin i know i love this blush formula because i have another shade in java i think which is a beautiful like plum or rosy mauve shade starla is very light and dusty but i really like shades like this let me build that up a little so this is what starla looks like it doesn't look like much on the swatch but I promise you, shades like this that don't swatch the greatest or look like it's not doing much in, in a swatch, when you put it on your cheeks is when it will give you that beautiful flush of color. Starla is described as a rosy bronze and I feel like that's pretty true to the description. I, I definitely see the bronze and the rose and i can't wait to put this on i'm already wearing a blush but let me just try to put a little hmm that definitely made it a little more rosy i think what do you think then i got this trend mood box oh i'm so excited for this trend mood box because I've never been intrigued by any of the trend mood boxes and I get all the emails and I've just never purchased any of the, the trend mood boxes. But this time around, oh, I got one and I love the packaging on this. It's just so pretty. 
I love the purple. Who doesn't like purple? And everything is packaged really well. And let's get into the stuff that I got inside this box. Now, the main reason I wanted this box was, hold on, we'll get to that. So in the box, I got this April skin, and this is the Artemisia Rice Essence. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but this is what the packaging looks like. The Art Artemisia Rice Essence. And this one has 80% Artemisia Vulgaris Extract. It is 100% vegan and 0% cruelty. This box was, I think, $48. And you could use a code to get 10% off, which I didn't use, but you'll see why I think this box is worth it. Look how cute that is. Ooh. I like the packaging on this. That's very nice. Let me smell it. Oh, it's sealed. Okay. A plus for safety. I wanna smell it. I don't know, something about a green packaging makes me think it smells really clean. Okay, I can't get it open, but I really like the packaging on this. And this is a 6.8 fluid ounces you get in that. So that's a nice size bottle. And of course it's skincare, which I am loving right now. Then we got a Trend Mood collaboration with Swirl and Sparkle. And this is a vegan, all natural, solid makeup brush cleaner. And you get one ounce with this. And this is what it looks like. Just a purple solid thing. It's very small. And you know, who doesn't need a brush cleaner? And then also in this box, we got a full sleeve mascara from Cap. We got a, not Cat Von D anymore. We got a full sleeve mascara from KVD Beauty. It's a long and defined tubing mascara. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if I like tubing mascaras. I don't like, I don't know, I'm, I've never, tried it so I don't know but this one is in a black shade let's see what it, the thing looks like I'm not gonna open it because I'm not gonna use it right away and I don't want it to dry out I really like the packaging on it very pretty artwork then in this box we got this Bondi Boost Miracle Hair Mask it's free from silicones parabens sulfates, phthalates, mineral oils, and drying alcohols. It smells like a traditional conditioner. Three makeup items in this box. The first one is this thing from, this lip liner from M Cosmetics. I haven't tried anything from M Cosmetics. The brand overall just doesn't appeal to me. And I remember watching Michelle Phan Back in the day, she's an OG YouTuber and I used to love her, but something about her makeup line just didn't really appeal to me. But this lip liner, I'm so glad I got this shade because it is a nice brown lip liner and ooh, it's very soft. Wow, look at that. Another brown lip liner, yeah. You know I'm loving that, yeah. Ooh, yes, that is so pretty. It's very soft. I'm excited for this. I can't even lie. That's so pretty. Then I got this lip cream from Sigma. This lip cream is in the shade Dapper. And it's just, I'm so happy with the lip products I got in this box because it is a pinky nude. And I love a good pinky pinky nude oh my god this one is very opaque and it's more on the mauve side actually but i like shades like this definitely super opaque creamy and i haven't tried anything from sigma makeup so i'm very excited to use this on the lips hmm let me smell that okay 
it has a nice smell to it. I can't pick, I can't put my nose on it, like what that smell is, but it smells very good. Ooh, exciting. And then last but not least, the reason why I picked up this box, girl, you get a whole ABH palette in this box. And I was like, oh, give it to me, give it to me now. Cause this palette alone retails for $55 and this box was 48. You, you ain't gotta tell me twice. And I remember when this came out, I was like, I'ma wait for a sale or I'ma use my points because I really like the color story on this. It has that nice velour packaging on it. I really like that. And then here are the shades in this palette. You cannot tell me this isn't fall in a palette. I just love the color story in this palette. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to swatch it, but I guess I'll swatch a few of them for you guys. You know, I kind of like y'all or whatever. I can give you a swatch. It's okay. It's okay. I kind of want to see Ember. Ember is this brown right here okay ember let me try swatch crimson swatching these they feel a little rough in the paint oh crimson uh-uh whoa crimson ain't playing around definitely feels a little textured in the pan but baby look at that swatch fire side And Fireside is the shimmer right there. And babes, already that is a look. That's a look right there with, okay, Ember, Crimson, Fireside. Love. So yeah, guys, that completes my haul. Leave me a comment below telling me your experience with the Good Molecules product. Let me know if you wanna see you know, anything from this video, really, just talk to me in the comments, guys. I really appreciate all your feedback. I love when you guys talk to me in the comments and I love responding. And I just wanna get that conversation flowing and going. And thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. You made it this far. You might as well subscribe, give the video a like, and then, you know, come see me in one of my two recommended videos. I don't know where they're gonna be. They're probably gonna be here, there. Watch a few more of my other videos. I promise you're gonna like them. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one.